So, the last episode of What If has come out. Let's rank the episodes. Just quickly, from returning viewers of the channel, um, this is the um, new setup for a little bit. Uh, this is how I'll be recording the videos for a bit, um, with alcohol and a seagull, um, and also that's cool. So, if you like it, or if you want me to do anything different with it, let me know. Now, let's rank What If episodes. Also, I want to preface this ranking. Marvel has said that What If is canon. So I think something that factored into my enjoyment of the episodes, and therefore factors into the ranking, is if some episodes really don't feel like they're canon, they might be a lot lower than episodes that might not be quite as good, but do feel like they're canon. If you don't like that, let me know in the comments and drop a dislike. So at number nine, we have episode seven, which was Party Thor. So you have, you have a show that's what if, you can do whatever you'd like, whatever scenario you'd like, you can do anything with it, and you chose Thor throws a party. <sighs> I don't actually need to say anything else, it's just boring. Now I'm already going to get controversial. At number eight, we have episode five, which was the Marvel Zombies episode. Now again, I should preface, I'm not majorly into zombie stories in general. You have to do a lot to make a zombie story work for me. However, that isn't actually the problem here. This episode is way too humorous. Now, I think Marvel Zombies is a hot, tough thing to pull off because you can't just have, you know, everyone just being mopey as people get picked off. But it just didn't feel right. Jokes are getting cracked left, right and centre as these heroes and friends die in front of each other. It just didn't feel natural at all. That mixed with the fact that all just like all the vision stuff and like the Paul Rudd floating head was just a bit weird and therefore this episode wasn't for me. Now for me, and I'm not sure if this is controversial, but at number seven we have episode eight, which was the first part of the Ultron thing. Now I do actually think there were some really cool elements here. I do like some of the stuff they did. I think a lot of the stuff with Ultron and the Watcher is fantastic. However, this episode has a lot of filler slash setup. The whole Black Widow, Hawkeye dynamic in this episode, you know, it's fun to see them together again, but it creates something very odd where they just don't do enough in the episode, and all they do is set up the arrow for the next episode. So overall, yeah, this episode just didn't really work for me. Now again, I don't know if this is controversial, but number six is the most recent episode, the finale. Now this is where the series, you know, there are some good elements. These aren't awful episodes. However, on a whole, what if I thought was quite weak and therefore the concept of seeing this crossover of a team that I didn't really enjoy that much in the first place with Gamora seemingly thrown in there unnaturally for pretty much no reason, it, it felt odd. Like, do you know what I mean? The series did not do enough to invest me in that team to care. And yeah, it was kind of cool where they all came together in the area that the Watcher created and, and the ending was quite good. But a lot of the middle stuff, it was just bland action with characters I didn't particularly care about. These next two honestly swap in my mind on a daily basis. But at number five, I'm going episode two to Charles Starlord. I think the main reason for this is T'Challa Star-Lord is a fun concept that isn't done much with. You know, I'm not really sure the story does much interesting apart from, you know, he fights a buff collector. Brilliant. This story is also hurt by what it does to Thanos. I mean, it, it implies that, obviously this is canon to the MCU, it implies that there is actually a character out there that could have just talked down Thanos, just calmed down his views a little bit, and that just doesn't make sense for the character. And again, it's supposed to be canon, so it was distracting during the episode. However, the... the do you know what I mean by the, the Who guy? The guy at the start of Guardians of the Galaxy that goes, Who? Um, he was good. He was good. I liked his character change. That was, that was, that was fun. Now, at number four, I'm going to go with the third episode, which was the Avengers Murder Mystery. Now, on paper, 
This is one that has the least to it, or one of the least to it, which does kind of irritate me about the series. I'll get on to that. But this episode did interesting things with certain characters. A lot of things felt like they actually could happen in the MCU. You know, like, like Hank being a bit of a bad guy like makes sense for the MCU. It just it just works as part of the timeline. It feels completely canon, and therefore you're not distracted by it. It's a shame, because this feels like it should be one of the weaker episodes in a very good series, because I think a great What If series is possible. But unfortunately, it has elements that make it stand out while being weak-ish, but therefore, just because it's solid enough, it's an enjoyable experience, and therefore it's quite high on my list. Now, at number three is the first episode, Captain Carter. Now, obviously, this episode is helped by a fantastic performance. Um, it really helps when the voice actors come back to do the roles, and um, Peggy Carter's voice is very distinct. Hayley Atwell smashes it. So that really helped with this episode. I think story-wise, this is a little bit irritating. I think it feels a little bit restrained by the story of the first Avenger. However, for animated action, which is a shame, because this is what made me think the series could have hope, was that the action was, the action in the first episode is the best it got, which is a shame because some of the stuff they managed to do here is fantastic. Why did the sun choose now to poke through for God's sake? Can't you tell? I'm trying to record a famous nerdy Brit video for God's sake. I'm sorry if you're not happy with how this video is lit. Oh wait, I don't really care. Now, number two, we're gonna go with episode six, the, the Killmonger Tony Stark episode. Now this one does suffer from a similar problem, like a feeling, to the um, Avengers Murder Mystery one in the fact that I feel like this should be a weaker episode, an overall very strong series, but because it's just very solid and enjoyable, it gets to number two. I think it does quite interesting stuff for the Killmonger character, I think it's just a really interesting look, and I also like the interactions with Tony Stark. I also don't want to hold um, it, this against the episode, but on a side note, I really hated what they did with the Killmonger that was set up here in the finale. He literally does nothing in the battles. He was completely pointless in them and then just gets frozen in time. I, I, think, I think that was a waste. I think that was a bit boring. Number one, I'm going to go with the Doctor Strange episode, which was episode four. And it really saddens me to say this, but this was the one episode that I thought truly lived up to the premise. Because this is a very, very good, interesting story that works, that fits with the character. You, I can see Doctor Strange in the main... Doctor Strange can be a bit arrogant and a bit self-centred, and it comes through here really nicely. It fits into canon. Benedict Cumberbatch, and most of the voice cast, to be fair, come back here, and that's a real positive. And it uses the what-if formula and isn't afraid to go dark, which I think is good and is what I wanted to see this story do. Was it fantastic? No, but this is the one episode that I would be, I would, I'm genuinely happy with and one that I, I am actively excited to go back to, so therefore it has to be number one. Overall, I'm disappointed with this series. I think it should have realised that it, that it is canon and therefore it has to play within the pre-established rules of the MCU and then start to do some interesting things. There are plenty of interesting routes you can go that are interesting and feel canon. Like, yeah, I can see Party Thor, you know, that feels like it could happen, but it's boring. And then there are things like Thanos in the Sachala episode that, yeah, are interesting, but just don't feel like canon. And that got to me. I do do Marvel content quite a lot recently, um, so quite a lot recently. Sick grammar, um, if you want to subscribe, that would be sick. Overall, comment, um, anything, literally anything. Um, ideas are always nice. Oh, when someone gives you an idea in the comment section, it's like Christmas come early. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.